Bonjour tout le monde. Konnichiwa. Salam alaikum. Khimara. Sawabona. Most importantly, hi. How's your week been? I hope you've all had a great week. It's been a very, very busy week and I've seen lots and lots and lots of people doing stuff for anti-bullying, which is amazing because this week has been anti-bullying week. Later on in today's assembly, um, you're going to hear a bit on YouTube from the NSPCC about how to report if you are feeling unhappy or you're feeling threatened or unsafe. But this week we also had a lot of children thinking about what we could do to make things better. So we're going to hear information about that. Primary 4 have also done a video and I have to say... We also will have our usual stars of the week. We will have our shout outs, um, which all the pictures and shout outs this week are all to do with anti-bullying and a chance to see what the children in the classes have been doing for anti-bullying. We have also... Oh, yeah, we've also got a story. It's a book that I read um, about how I beat my bully. No, not me. No, it's about a person called Alice. I have already told you the story about how I beat my bully, so there's no point in hearing it again. So, the story of how I beat my bully. So we've got a lot of things to get through today, so I'm not going to say an awful lot more because I need to get a wriggle on and I need to get this assembly done. To brave Lucia. Hi, I'm Alice. This is my story about how I overcame being bullied. Being bullied feels horrible. It was the worst thing that ever happened to me. Bullying is nasty and it is never okay. Being excluded once. Acting mean or a single fight or arguing is not bullying. Bullying is when this happens over and over again. It is done to hurt you and control you. You can't always simply know who the bully is. Can you tell who the bully is in this group? Is it the kids playing cards? Is it the two girls playing chase, the one reading the book? You can't tell. The person I thought was my friend turned out to be a bully. At first, we were playing with our other friends. Then she started to call me names. You're dumb. You're a liar. You're ugly. And you're not my friend. The mean things she said hurt me. It made me feel sad and unsure about myself. She would exclude me from playing with my friends. I felt left out and alone. This went on for weeks, then weeks became months. I didn't tell anyone. Sometimes I thought it was my fault, but it was not. But that's what the bully tries to make you think. At home, I stayed in my room. I didn't want to go to school. I quit my dance class. I even told my mum I didn't want to live anymore. One day, the bully pushed me against the wall. I fell over and hurt myself badly. That was it. I'd had enough. I knew I had to do something about it. So I told my mum everything. At least I didn't have to deal with it alone anymore. 
Even if you don't feel like talking about your bully, it is better to tell someone you trust about what is happening. My mum and I started to read books about how to deal with bullies. We learned that deep inside, the bully is often insecure and have been hurt themselves. This is sad, but it is still never okay to bully. I learned that I can make myself look strong, stand tall, make eye contact and speak clearly. Say, stop, I don't like that. My mum helped to make sure I walked to school with other friends so I felt safe. I realised my bully enjoyed my reaction. That's what made her feel in control of me. I decided to stop giving my bully my attention. If she approached me, I ignored her and she walked off. My bully realised I cared less about her. Bullying someone who ignores you is not much, is, is not much, is much fun. She started to leave me alone. This made me feel strong. I realised that inside, I actually was stronger than my bully. I started feeling better. I joined dance class again. My mum organised playdates with other friends. I knew I was special, kind and fun to play with. I was happier and got my confidence back. It was so good to feel like myself again. I even shared my story at a parents' information night at school. That was so scary. My story helped parents understand how I beat my bully. Now they can support their children if it happens to them. And one day, my story might help you too. So that's the story of Alice and how she beat her bully. What things did you hear there in the story did Alice do to beat her bully?
No one speaks of some wrong to do. The silent trail was the fancy name. They comes to school with their hair a mess. And milk stains down her dirty dress. There's a coat that's far too small. The stand, and the stand stands by the playground wall. Nobody plays with Samantha Jane, who lives with her mum down in Lake Melbourne. Around them, what is dark and smell? Just bends and lights glow to the town. Which is in the bed with damp and towels. And a dark little room that's full of mold. Nobody cares about Samantha Jane, who walks to school with wind and rain. Of her almost face and hair a mess, and her coat too small and her dirty dress. The tight little milk and the frightened stare. No one, no one is there to care. Samantha Jane, Samantha Jane. Oh, what do you dream of, Samantha Jane? As you walk to school all alone, or stand in the playground on your own. Do you dream your friends that with whom to play? To help you through the lonely day. Do you dream of arms to hold you tight? To help you through the lonely night. Be Shout out time. Dreams to chase. Or oh, welcome here! What you wear when you play. Or if you come from far away, all oh, go around. Oh, oh, welcome here! Let's all take part. We'll play music. We'll make our hearts all are welcome here! Stars of the week. Well done to Calvin Howie for working hard with his literacy this week. Well done, Calvin. Really good news. We also have the next one is Paul S from Mr. Hatton's Nurture Group. A fantastic week following listing rules and setting a good example to others. Well done, Paul. That is such good news. Then we'll have Tommy and P2W 
for having excellent behaviour in the playground. Well done. Well done indeed, Tommy. That is really, really good news. I'm really pleased to hear that. Well done. Dixie um, and Mrs Clark's nurture for taking on nurture duties with confidence and being a great role model to others. Dixie, well done. Really, really proud of you. Then we'll have Anya in P1G for following instructions and trying her best with tasks. Well done, Anya. And Marie in P1C for trying so hard to follow the four listening rules. And Marie, I know you will have heard every word I have just said because you'll be listening so well. Good girl, well done. Oliver in P4D for excellent performance in bench ball. Well done, Oliver. I used to love bench ball. Ruby in P2S, working hard with her sounds and her spelling. Ruby, that is super news. Well done. Fern in P3SP for working hard, being kind and retaining lots of information from the data handling topic. Fern, it sounds like you have a giant brain and you have been on fire with your learning this week. Well done, Fern. The Bikeability crew, they have finished level two. So it's a big well done to Lily S, Joshua, Gosha, Mason, Hamza, Ryan and Noah. Well done. Callan M and P6M for helping Miles in gym. Great news. Thank you for that, Callan. Lacey T and P4B for excellent walking through the corridors. And that's from Mr J. Lacey T always walks beautifully through the corridors. However, not as beautifully as Primary 2S. They were superstars this week. Well done. Josh B in 70S for working hard this week. Thank you. Well done, Josh. Delighted to hear that. And Sherry R, this is from Mr Solomon, for behaving well in ICT. See, you can do it, Sherry R. Really proud of you. Well done. Erin in P6S for listening well in ICT this week. Erin, I think you always listen well, but well done. Really good. Noah in P2S for working well in ICT. Well done, Noah. And Dixie again in P3C for working so hard to be a great listener this week. Well done, Dixie. Evie in P4B for always working hard and having a fantastic attitude towards all tasks. Well done, Evie. Casper in P4D for being a great team player and displaying super artistic skills during a group task. Well done, Casper. Jack in P5H for working hard and showing lots of enthusiasm for your learning. Well done, Jack. Michael in P6S, spectacular effort during our fitness workout this week. I couldn't have been more proud. Well, I am absolutely delighted with that, Michael. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two about fitness. Ben in P6S for showing good listening and positively contributing to class discussions. Well done, Ben. That's really good to hear. Brooke in P5B, working hard in class and building skills in teamwork. Woohoo! I think this is the one that makes me happiest this week. Well done, Brooke. I am super chuffed that you have got that. Yusuf in P6M, a fantastic week and a great attitude towards your learning. Well done. Oh, so many stars this week. I am absolutely delighted to share such good news. It really has been a fabulous week in our school. Well done to every single one of you. So you can see there are lots of ways that you can help yourself, but also help each other. Bullying is never, ever acceptable. And one of the best ways is to talk about it. Talk to an adult, whether it's mum, dad, granny, granddad, auntie, uncle, somebody at school. Think about somebody at school that you feel 
you could talk to, a grown-up that you could talk to, if somebody was treating you in a way that you didn't like being treated. See you next week, guys.